Hello everyone, this is Black Naganashi with your Adventure Quest video. Alright, so first we're gonna, you know, view our stats. Alright. Um so alright, so far I have done 76 battles, 183 rounds, 394 hits, only 10 misses. My most damage was from the fire element, because you know obviously that's my favorite element. Um my second is from darkness because you know the uh the do night blade is awesome the third is <clears throat> ice you know because the frost from Mega blade is it's pretty powerful and special and the runners up is one and light um obviously melee and rain is dominant in this the reason why you see numbers here is because i've done battles before i started this recording because like uh what i plan on doing in my commentaries only is doing um a clean stat check you know to see and then we're gonna battle a few monsters to um, you know check my stats afterwards so we're just gonna start off you know in the sample mode you know all right so um, all right so this video is solely on the thrill scoring I will be discussing a few other things as well but as on the throw scoring because this weapon is fucking amazing and I love it. All right, so like from what I know, the weapon is more powerful than Melga's Wrath. Um, it, it seems to have a thirty percent damage boost, which is pretty fucking amazing. But you know, AQ loves drawbacks, so uh, the drawback is that you take more damage from enemies, which is I'm not surprised. Cause like um, Melga's Wrath kind of has that drawback, but except for not only do you take more damage because you're missing the turn, but you're also taking damage from the weapon itself. So that kind of makes it worse in a way. But instead of going through all that bullshit with Melga's Wrath, you can whip ass while taking a quite a beating, which I kind of don't mind. You know, because at least I'll be attacking the whole time. Um, <coughs> um, so, yeah. We have the Water Giants 3 coming um, this week. I'm not going to actually... I think... Yeah, I can show it. Yeah. So, yeah. Water Giants Part 3. While Kamui, Wallach, and other heroes continue to mop up kaiju beasts from other realities that still remain wandering to countryside... That's a typo, by the way. That is a typo. They need to fix that. Um, following the invasion, you must journey back to the in inter interdimensional portal where they came from to confront the creature that seems to be their leader, an alternate carnax. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Summon guest attack. This new, this new, well, this feature, but they should have put new feature because it's not, it's not a known feature. But this feature opens a new menu. Which lists lowest and mightiest heroes that get called in to do a single but powerful attack. First summon per day is free. This um this reminds me of Marvel Avengers Alliance app on Facebook, where though you can call your friend in the attack once a day. It's called a distress call. So basically the summon guest attack is a adventure quest way of saying a distress call. On uh, a limited time um shop. Don't miss the Ultimate Dragon Lord Scythe, which is already here, in Vex Blade coming to the limited time shop. Then another shop monster, find Dore, very funny AQ. Dore, find Dore, a fishy friend of ours who is more than a little forgetful. Defeat her in battle to unlock the Dore Shield Shop. Okay, so by the way it sounded, it sounds like a water shield. Um, I feel like it might have some type of compression though. Alright, so let's go back on up and we're going to look into... The um, ultimate Dragon Lord Cipher is, um, like I said, this weapon, um, well, I, yeah, this weapon looks like the ultimate Dragon Cipher elements, but in a different way. And the only switch between magic and ranged. And it seems as though you can do some high ass lucky strikes. 
which is pretty great. You know, the scythe dropped by a dragon rider from alternate lore. This is our extra deadly money strikes. So that's just awesome. But I would not spend the tokens on this personally. Because in my opinion, it's not worth the Z tokens. Only thing that I might find worth the Z tokens in here. Um, hmm. Might be like I don't know. This is a this is a good deal for a weapon. Nine thousand seven hundred two tokens, not bad at all. Like if I'd have got the um, if I'd have got the um, Origin Rare Box in my first two thousand, I would have had ten k tokens left. I probably would have got it. You know, even though it's range, even though I don't mind using range, the Strider Cleaver. In my opinion, I think this is a useful ass weapon. It looks nice actually. And you can switch it between wind and energy. Um, a lot of swapping weapons, which is awesome. But yeah, back at it with the, you know, the scoring, like I said. So we're going to fight just a few monsters to show this potential of this weapon. Um, I, I've, I've brought out Decimator and Nog if to play, you know, to show you guys some high damage. Because these armors... Um, these aren't the only armors that do high damage, but these armors in particular, in my opinion, some odd reason brings up the best in the weapon's damage and your character as far as damage. Everything damage. So, we're going to take down these four dog zards as fast as we possibly can, and we're going to see how much damage we can dish out, too, at maximum. You know. So far, it's doing some pretty good damage in the special. And the special is like the same as it used to be when it was called Thrill's Hatred. This weapon didn't always look as beautiful. It looked kind of basic. But that's because AQ wasn't, you know, like this back in the day. So now it was like all updated and got a little gold ring around it. Like, we need some more customization options on this damn game. Like, like, like changing how this looks. Like, that would look so much better if it was black or something. You know what I'm saying? Black or white or blue. You know, we need variety like we gotta make this game more fun like like if you try to keep adventure quest alive you gotta think about the the, the the simple things you know we already you know killed two dog zards which i knew was gonna be a problem and already three because the damage like i said like you guys need to understand that the thrill scorn is a fucking amazing weapon the weapon is stronger than a dragonfire sword which is boosted when, when it's boosted, and that also beats out the um, Nogus Wrath, you know, which is really fucking amazing. Um, but unfortunately, the regular Dragonfire Sword, I think, is weaker than Nogus Wrath. But this weapon beats out all of those weapons, you know, because of the you know, default damage boost and the fact that, you know, you take a bit more damage because of that. So, like, the drawback gives it way more of a high risk, high reward type thing. So, yeah, um, this weapon is fucking amazing. I'm glad I, I got it. But, honestly, I am kind of pissed because it's like I only got one ultra rare gift box out of the 12,000 12, Z tokens that I had bought. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? You know, so what I bought was the custom title. You know, the, um, so I gave myself the Nibirunian King title. People probably wonder, Nibirunian, what the fuck is a Nibirunian? Nibirunian, in my opinion, is a person that's from Nibiru. What the fuck is Nibiru? Nibiru is a, is, is the name for Planet X, you know. And I don't know, I take interest in a lot of astrology type things. So, the name Nibiru intrigued me a lot, you know. It, it actually is actually a major part of what I like, you know. So... That's why I gave myself the title Nibirunian King. I was gonna get, I was gonna put Black Naganashi X as the title, but I said no, that's kind of basic, and that kind of is like kind of weird. I might do it next time if I get another twelve thousand. Let's put Black Naganashi X under, you know, Dark Sonic. <sighs> but yeah. Um. Anyway, this video is like I said, centered around Thrill Scorn. Because, like, the power, like, is really impressive. And, like, 
I'm really on this weapon. Like, I hope no stronger weapon comes out anytime soon. Like, I'm serious. And here I am about to get my ass whooped by Undead Army Gargan. Wait a minute, this is the 140 version. I'm sorry, this is not the 160 version. Even though I whipped the 160 version's ass before, but I ain't gonna lie, when I first saw it, that shit continuously kept whooping my ass because of celerity, which is really, really pissed me off a lot. So I had to, let me take him down real quick. Anyway, that's not, um, like, that's not really cool. I'm like, damn, this nigga keep going, like, attacking me. Then not only does he keep attacking me, but he already drained my health. In his first few attacks, he kept attacking me after I died. You know, so I'm like, okay, I, I don't know what the hell I did to you, but you can stop now. You know what I'm saying? So, um, like I said, we're going to drill this motherfucker's health down. Rail Spawn is a wonderful weapon, indeed. Um, <clears throat> so imagine if I'm doing this much damage on... You know, usual monsters. Imagine it on monsters with 200% modifier. Like, that's just annihilation. Like, in itself. You know. Why am I fighting a motion beast? This is some BS. And then, like, nah. I like, I usually don't like, I don't like fleeing in the video at all. Obviously. But, I'm going to. Because I'm not about to sit here and... This is not the point of the video. I'm not about to fight anyone that does not have, you know, good, like, fire, like, a good enough fire weakness. So, I'm going to show you the true potential of the, um, Thrill Scorn's power. And, um, I'm going to, like, I'm going to really hope that my true damage will come out. Because when I'm on video... The damage always happens. Like, the damage always happens. Not even with just this weapon. Like, with all my weapons. But, some odd reason, as soon as I start recording, I want to be missing and doing low-ass damage. I'm just like, really? Seriously? I'm only attacking with this just to get through to the Void Dragon, so that's why I'm doing that. But, that damage I did already was fucking amazing. This is exactly why I bought this armor out. And this weapon is amazing. Like, the usual defense is water and light. And that's only at 100. But because he counts as un undead, I'm going to do hella damage. Like, as if his his weaknesses was extremely high, which is perfect. I'm glad I got this Zootopia package because it's extremely useful. I don't see why anyone wouldn't. You, know, so you can do that damage all you like because you already did. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna first attack with Nogif first for damage potential. Okay, second, we're gonna go again with um, the Decimator. As I said, th these are gonna be the armors that I'm gonna be showing you the damage potential with Thrill Scorn with. Because I want, I want you guys to understand that just because a weapon does a certain amount of damage doesn't mean that it can't reach a higher potential. You know, you saw that special, you know. All, all four numbers, like all, like four digits. Okay, you gotta be kidding me with this shit. I don't like this shit. Okay, but I would, you know, draw Ging down, but I don't feel like it. Okay, Terrazard. Okay, I could show you negative damage if you like. I don't have my damn horror short vanquisher on me right now. But yeah. Just showing you a, 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 the gist of what I'm saying as far as damage potential. We're going to see how much damage we can do on negative modifiers. And it's really kind of disappointing because it's like you would think it would do a lot more damage since I'm helping the monster. Since AQ want to be challenged, you know. Um, I'll only do this shit for one more round, and then I'm going to try to find something more interesting, because this is really stupid here. But, yeah. Thrill Scorn, 
get it. That's just my only my only thing to say is get it. You know, it has a nice special. I mean, you won't have to worry about harming yourself. And, like, you just might have to worry about taking a bit of extra damage, but so what? Okay, I can deal with this. You know, I don't mind a little bit of a test to show how much damage you can do without 100 modifiers. And look at that. Already mowed down in the first turn. Impressive as fuck. Okay, like I said, we're going to try this again, attack it regularly without specials, hopefully. You know. And then we're going to switch over to Decimated next. Impressive. I can't find anything wrong about this weapon. Like, yeah, I'll take damage, but it's just like, okay, you know, we want, we want, I'm going to give myself the ultimate challenge right now. We're at 50% modifiers. We're going to see how much damage we can do with 50% modifiers. I should have did that last time, but I wasn't thinking, and I wasn't thinking on my feet. We're going to test this out. We're going to really show you guys potential with weapons. Even though the buffs is helping out, but hey, ain't nobody going to go into battle with this nothing. So, this is actually a simulation. Pretty impressive. It's holding up well. Putting a nice little debt in that health. I mean, when I first saw this um, monster, I thought she was devastating because it's like all them damn fire hits. But. Like I said, this weapon is doing the damn thing. Very good. Ugh. Like I said, that's pretty good for only 50%. Imagine it on... I, I think, yeah, back in the day... Yeah, back in the day, um, weaknesses could go all the way up to 400%. But now the highest it goes is 200. I think there was this one undead before, like in the past, that had 350. No, I think it had 300 or, yeah, between 300 and 350% weakness to fire. But, you know, like I said, AQ. Okay. After I get um, this health down to a certain point, I'm going to just try to decimate because... I don't mind a little challenge, but this is a bit long winded and I get impatient with battles quickly. You know. So we want to mow that health down a little bit. And then we want to go ahead and finish. Go in for the overkill. Let's see how much it would take down if I do it now. Oh, that's fucking impressive. Okay. Alright, so we just need to. Hopefully this turn will be enough to kill because I don't want to waste any more SP. Yep. This fought a little bit though. Alright. So we bring out Decimator in this particular scenario. Um. <clears throat> wow. That damage is fucking amazing. You can't say this weapon is weak at all. And there's no way. I'm really proud of this weapon. It was worth the investment, y'all. All right, so instead of me trying to challenge myself, honestly, I could actually just do this. I could do that thing right now because, like, he just gonna die really fast anyway. So, and just look how fast this motherfucker will die. Kinda BS, but all right. So this the last battle, and we gonna go ahead and sign off. So yeah, um, tell me your opinion on this weapon. Um, was it is it a bad weapon? Is it a great weapon? Is it the best weapon? Is it the worst weapon? But I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna hear the worst because, like I said, a lot of people has this as it is. So you know. I shouldn't hear any bad reviews about this weapon, but if you if you give me a rate like if you ask me to rate this from one to ten, I'll give it a ten to be honest. And but like you you guys want to take my word for because I give a lot of weapons, you know that people put down a good rating because I find use in it. But yeah.
So we're going to look at our stats real quick before we get off here. And let's see. My misses only increased by three. Total hits, 531. Did 94 matters, almost 100 in this short period of time. 222,000, just about 223,000 damage with just the thrill scoring alone. That's damn, That's pretty damn good, you know. Melee damage overall, 250. You know, counting the darkness damage that I did in the ice and light. So that's not too bad. <clears throat> but yeah, so that's about it. Um, if I find any more topics to cover, then I will cover them. But um, as for right now, nothing really new on these ends until tomorrow or Friday. So I will be back with you guys. All right. So, all right. Um, everyone, you know, rate, comment, subscribe if you want to, you know. And I hope you enjoyed this funny ass motherfucking commentary. Okay. All right. Everyone, take care. And have a nice day and battle on because I need to get some rest. It is 6 in the morning. Also, I want to thank you guys for watching this commentary. Um, I would like for you to like, comment, subscribe. Um, I'm still working on my commentaries, you know, so forgive me. Um, I also want to apologize for my allergies acting up and, you know, a few errors. But, you know, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Um, thanks for your patience, and you guys have a wonderful day. Battle on.